A little bit different this time. A little bit different. We're going to be doing a live VOD review. I We have not done this in quite some time. But again, great Houdini. Um, Houdini, what rank are you, bro? I was like plat 4, I think maybe 5. All right, so we'll call it high plat. High platinum. Uh, you think you need to work on the chest mind part of it? Chest, not chest. Not chest, guys. Chess. I have really good aim, but I got no clue about mind games and stuff. All right, let's let's just dive in. We're gonna take it bit by bit. If anybody has any questions throughout, um, we will go from there. That is not your stream lagging. That is the gameplay. All right, so off spawn here. You're playing off to the right, and you're playing for thrust. You see Jiggy or whoever that was grabbing the thrust. You're checking down here. Is this Slayer? This is Slayer. Good reaction time. Kind of just a tough gunfight. Um, your positioning was a little off there. Because, again, you don't really have any help from your teammates. You're kind of just, like, standing over here. And you are standing completely out in the open. You definitely got to move towards, like, somewhere to, like, help you out. So, yeah, I, you did make the move to try to get to cover, which is fine. Just unfortunate. That was a really, really close gunfight. You should see where you go uh, on the spawn up here. So you're spawning up, you got Loyal right here to your left, and you choose to play towards him. You ran right past that heat wave there. Heat wave was on the wall. You're checking fridge. Are you mouse and key? You're definitely mouse and key. Alright, shooting across. I like it. Looking at your teammates. You see your teammates moving in. You know it's time to go. And again, Aquarius Slayer is very much a um very much a get a pick get a pick and collapse get a pick and collapse find the spawners you see the spawners here you guys are flying in together i like what i see get that kill there oh you ran away too soon so this is one of those awkward gunfights here where you need to back up you're doing a good job holding your ground but you're in such a bad position here yeah so right here you moved away too soon. That is what it is. But right here now, you you just watch your teammate die, right? You see two teammates go down in the kill feed. So you do not want to push this gunfight. If you push this gunfight, chances are really good you're going to end up at the disadvantage here. And I believe you're actually three dead. So you're moving in on a fight that is potentially going to turn to a 2v1 really, really fast. Where should I have gone? You should have backed out. Right when you see teammate die, like right here, I poke out. You see him running away. You have to let him go. You have to let him go because you do not have the map advantage. You move in. You go down. You instantly lose the tie here. So I would just back out and go car three because as you'll see here in a second, the important thing is you do recognize what's going on though. You just choose to wait. Like see? But you do get Jiggy spawning right behind you. So if you would have moved back towards car 3 right here. Or even drop Util and run back towards car 2. You would have been with Jiggy and then you guys could have planned your next move from there. But instead, you kind of trapped yourself here. And now you got to be like Jiggy help or something like that. Because Jiggy kind of has to move towards you. But as you can see, Jiggy doesn't really know what's going on. And he sees the spawners coming up on the other side of the map. So based on these spawners, you know the entire team is on your side of the map. Or at least in the vicinity. And there's at least one person that knows where you are. So you're pretty much boned here. Um, so you just put yourself in a really hard position. But again, I really like how you were kind of aware of it. You waited and then you did try to get out of the situation. You just have to see that you're putting yourself in that situation before it happens. And that's what's going to save you like a death here. Because see, now you're actually down six to eight. Um, which is kind of tough here. So the whole enemy team is in yellow. You see that right there. So spawning up. Enemy team in yellow. You got Loyal down here in front base. You got Jiggy top base. Crazy Killer is absolutely all the way over there. And I guess my only question here is, where are you going? You know, every... So what I've been trying to really work on off spawn is, where am I going? Um, if I can't plan that through my death cams, then I really do my best to plan that off my teammates, right? 
So off this spawn right here, I would be trying to look at my teammates. And based on where Loyal and Jiggy are, I want to move to the left. Um, because I want to be with them so that I can either A, help them if they get pushed or if they choose to like attack. Or B, get the team shots going if there's an enemy top mid. Because chances are really good that they're going to be around the P2 area. P2 and maybe on Crazy Killer. Um, just based on what I'm looking at spawners. So looking at my teammates here, because I didn't really see the death cams. I don't, I'm not going to go P side. Going P side isn't really going to help the team. It's just going to put me in a potential 1v1, right? Just based on this analysis. So let's see what happens here. Because you do choose to go P side. You're looking around for enemies, which is fine. Because you know they could be around there somewhere. But you see the enemies pushing your teammates, see? So now if you went this way, you can eat up this mid angle for Jiggy and Loyal, right? Because now there's a gap between Jiggy and Loyal. And this enemy just went right in. You could have patched up this hole. So now you have one enemy moving in. And you're going to try to get there because you saw him. You're kind of out in the open. Nice little melee. That's a fine kill there. Good job. But see how you had to come back to help your teammates rather than already being with them. Because um, again, like in... And Brent always talks about this in Onyx lobbies. Everybody just knows where to be. Like, when you take a gunfight, everybody knows where they need to be to help you, when to engage, and timings just come up, like, at the snap of a finger. So you have to do your best to put yourself in the right position. So right here, you need to look at your teammates off spawn and move into a position where you can kind of be their safety net and very helpful in any gunfight they decide to take. And you can kind of see, you just see this breakdown here because, again, one gets right through the hold. And you make a good job pushing out. But I'll be honest with you, in a, highest, in a higher lobby, this does not work at all. Because there's going to be enemies top mid, you're going to get team shot, and you're going to get absolutely obliterated. Um, but again, good job here getting the kill. I'm perfectly fine with that. Your aim is a little bit jumpy here. I will point that out. You can see your reticle is going all over the place. You definitely want to keep that steady. Um, again, I don't have big tips for mouse aim. Going back base to to, uh, to reach in here. Loyal's kind of moving up. You guys spread out a lot. Um, if you guys play together a lot, um, try to stay together a little bit tighter. Because um, Jiggy actually spawned opposite you now. And this happens to me a lot. Because when, like, Brent, Bandos, Goose are, like, zooming around the map, um, I end up getting, like, left behind a lot. Because I used to be too slow of a player. So, you like, you have to really be snappy and keep up. So, like, right here, I'd go car three. And get to the hold. If you stay here too much, an enemy is going to collapse on you. So you do make the move this way, which is fine. Crazy goes down. So you do not have the advantage. You drop down here. Move out, put in some shots. Get back to cover. Unfortunately, go down because they push in. Yeah, just kind of an awkward, an awkward setup there. But you did kind of recognize what was going on and tried to fix it. Um... Is it recommending my own video? It's recommending my own video. Watching your video. That's kind of funny. Alright, again, off spawn. Where are you going? So, no death cams. Try to watch those death cams. So, teammate above you. Teammate in front of you on blue court. And one in the respawn screen, I believe. So, you're running this way. I'm not... You change your mind. You're looking at your teammates. You're looking across top mid. I'm okay with this so far. You guys are a little bunched up. Yeah, you guys, you guys got to spread. You're all stuck up there. Oh, back up. Try to get your shields. Oh, man. You guys loving this P2 area. All right. One thing I want to say here. There's nothing necessarily wrong with this sequence, but you are going insane here. Like, it almost it's almost making me nauseous on mouse and key. But, like, here. Nothing's really going on, and you're running around, snapping this way, turning this way, dropping this way, sliding back, looking backwards, looking this way. You can calm down. Just slow down, watch an angle, you know, stare at something, and just make sure you don't, like, get surprised by anything. Grab the thrust, thrust towards the enemy. Kind of push it 2v1, but Jiggy's there to help. I like it. You flew out in the open there a little bit fast. You want to be a little choosy around this corner, especially when you see the two people there. Um, instead, you commit to pushing out and go for the kill. Um, happens to the best of us, but something 
So something you really see in Platinum and even in the Diamond Lobbies is people overcommit when the timing's not right. Um, if you guys watch the Carmel Thunder VOD review, shout out my man Carmel Thunder. I see you there in chat. Um, he kind of waited too long to push in when the timing was right. Here, the timing's not really right, and you're kind of just flying out. Because, like, Jiggy and everybody... Good fellas, thank you for subscribing, brother. Welcome in. Um, everybody's kind of, like, chilling up top, putting in shots. You know, you got some help from Jiggy up top. I can see somebody up here. I'm not sure if that is Jiggy. So you don't have to be the aggressor down here, right? You have all kinds of gunny up above you, right? So you can kind of just be annoying. You know, you just being here is annoying. You want to make what it, what was the terminology Eli used? You want to uh, you want to make the enemy's lives hell or whatever or something along those lines. Um, so just be annoying. Do everything you can to like poke out, put a burst in, duck. You know, poke out, get them to look at you, duck. Make sure they're looking at you, and then if they're not looking at you, shoot them. Um, that's also something I've been trying to improve on a lot. Is see what the enemy's looking at. When you come out here though, they're both looking at you. You could see he was literally looking at Jiggy, right? So when you come out here, he's not even looking at you, but he snaps right to you and then his teammate helps and now you kind of leave your teammates to fight. But I hate to say it, you are literally the bait here, but that's like the best position to be in. I wasn't aware of where they were, so I tried to get away from them, but I ended up going towards them. No, I hear you and mistakes like that do happen. I'm just trying to teach you the potential awareness so that you can maybe see the situation before you put yourself in the wrong situation right because before you even have thrust you see this guy right you have thrust now you see two of them and you're still running towards them you thrust towards them and now you're in kind of a crazy situation but again not necessarily a bad one you can turn this into an advantage but you have to think about where your teammates are. This comes through communication. This comes through spawning up and making sure you're in the right position. And frankly, just having teammates you can trust. But again, you have Jiggy up top here. You can see that by the way he cleaned up this kid. And uh, you just kind of got to play off that. So just really think about where your teammates are. And kind of like paint the script from there. Um, you talked about wanting to learn the chess mindset of it. It comes with knowing all the pieces on the chessboard and that being, well, your teammates. Look at me making my own coaching analogies. I'm a natural. Eli would be so proud. All right, off spawn here. Jiggy and Loyal, other side, you have one teammate with you, right? So this could be a potential setup for a pinch here. Yeah, see, you didn't really think about where you were going. Good job backing out. Your teammates are there to collapse. Nice, you gifted with a gifted with somebody not looking at you. This is fine. Missed the jump up car three. We had happened to the best of us. Oh, if you miss it again, though, I'm turning this off. All right, he's not even gonna try it again. So here, I, I'm gonna let this play out for a second here. This happens quite often, and I went over this in the Carmel Thunder review. I don't hate the play for the flank, but you can't go for the flank if you are not sure if somebody is there. And the reason is, you are doing no damage from the time you get this kill, right? We're at 3.33. Let's see what time it is before you even see an enemy here. And you get to your spawners, you're a little confused. And now you just wrapped all the way around the map with no information and no damage. That was literally 20 seconds of downtime from 333. So this is why on Aquarius Slayer, I say work towards your teammates. Unless you know for sure people are up here on car three shooting or they're in yellow base and you kind of have that route to be ratty and go for it and you're feeling confident. You don't really want to do that because, again, it, it, it leads to a lot of time on the map 
where you are not helping your teammate and it can very easily put your team in a situation where they are in a 3v4 because you are on the other side of the map not really doing anything. And this happens all the time on Aquarius where you run, you think you're getting a flank, but the enemy team is pushing towards your team. So you're actually getting out rotated and you actually rotate into your own spawn. So now not only are you on the other side of the map, you're actually spawning your dead teammates further away from the gunfights. So general rule of thumb, just play around your teammates. It's really the safest bet on Aquarius here. And again, so like you get this kill, I would definitely go up car three because this grants you map control. Even if you play like the ratty angle right up here and sit on the wall, because even if you're suspicious they're gonna come out of yellow, um util that's fine you can play this corner because in this corner you're still close enough to help your teammates if the enemy team does push through peace side right so that's true map control and you're in a position to help your teammates but again you rotate around you end up in your own spawn and it's something that i do struggle with a lot um it takes a lot of trial and error to recognize these situations but um this is kind of like a prime example of it um so yeah, don't necessarily go for the flank unless you're positive somebody's like up there just like shooting all willy-nilly being like a bot. Um, just try to stay grouped up with your team. Here, Loyal's alone. You guys trying to get up to him. I like what I'm seeing here. I will say I like the way you take your gunfights. Um, work around cover a little bit more and you'll be very impressed with how well these gunfights go your way. Um, the only time I've seen you lose gunfights is because you either pushed a 2v1 or got caught out in the open. Other than that, like, I'm very happy with the way you're playing these angles. Like, right here, perfectly good instinct to go around here. Just hug that wall, come around the corner like you are, and you're good to go. Try to get that thrust as well. Unfortunate that other enemy rotated around. Um, I thought you had somebody over on P-side. I don't know where they went. I think they chased him. They chased him court, maybe. Yeah, he chased him court, I believe. But yeah, you had one come out P1. Um, that's just kind of lack of communication there. Somebody should have been watching uh, P1. But again, I, I will commend you on how you're taking these gunfights. I, I am happy to see how you're taking those. I like the reaction time. See, this I like. I like how you come back to stay with your team, right? So, I'm going to walk this through really quick. Off spawn, two teammates close, crazy killer far, he goes down, right? I was afraid you were going to run out and just go to where crazy killer died and die. That's probably one of the worst habits you see in platinum and, and even diamond is people running to players X's. You do not want to run to the players X. You want to run to the players that are alive because that will give you the best chance for team shooting and just helping your remaining teammates stay alive, especially in Slayer. So I'll be honest. I was terrified. I thought you were going to just run out and go towards that X, right? Which maybe you were going to. But you snap, take this gunfight, fantastic snap, good job getting that kill. And then you back off because there's an enemy there, right? So if you were to run out there, you were going to get probably bagged by that dude in yellow base, right? You were going to get put in a body bag. Instead, you back up towards your teammates and they're there to help you get the kill and you guys all live up to fight another day. You even had Jiggy going right there. I don't know if he spawned up or went for the flank. It, The epitome of teamwork right here. You're up 27 to 24. This is exactly what Aquarius Slayer should look like. Just off this one little move of you coming back, right? Because if you push out and die, um, you leave Jiggy and I believe Loyal there in a way worse situation. In, instead, you guys work together, get that kill. Fantastic work. You're three up. Your other teammate, yep, spawned up right now. And again, map control. You're in the high position. You're looking across the map, and you're putting in shots. You have damage now. They're getting grenades thrown at them. These dudes are absolutely terrified right now. You have them pinned fridge. You got crazy and loyal going for the wrap. You move towards them. Jiggy needs to see that, and he needs to know and move over. Loyal goes down, but you guys have damage. Oh, good job trying to get away again. Just a little bit of an overchall in the open. If you are a hair closer, if you are a hair more to the right on the wall to a connector here, you cut the angle from this guy and you get a free kill.
but you tried to get away. You tried really well to get away. I like that thrust back. It was just a second too late. Um, so again, as I mentioned, do not do not take fights out in the open. Take the fights, hug the walls, use the cover, because I like how you're kind of maneuvering these gunfights. Just tweak it a little bit more so you're closer to cover so that you can cut off angles as you need to or back out as you need to, and you're going to be absolutely frying, my guy. I promise you that. Um, but good job getting the trade. The trade here is huge because you're still up four, so that's great. Loving the breakdown, Cody. Thank you, Masked Up. Um, I... I have studied the game a lot trying to improve my gameplay, and I feel like I understand it really, really, really well. It's just very hard to translate into gameplay, and I'm getting there, but I still have a really long way to go. Um, but I really like breaking it down for you guys, and I feel like it helps me get a better understanding of the game as well. So I really think this does help everybody all around, no matter what rank you are. Um, is my aim good, though, Cody? Yeah, I, I'll say yes. Um, is it perfect? No, I don't think anybody's aim is perfect. You, uh, like I pointed out, you were a little jumpy earlier on the reticle. You were going all over the place. But, like, that snap you had... I'm not going to go all the way back to it in the essence of time. But that snap you had to that enemy, you, you clearly have good prowess with your aim. Um, just try to keep it a little bit steadier in those 1v1 gunfights. And, like I said, and, and pair that with your cover. And then, like I said, you're going to be frying, dude. You're going to be absolutely frying. I promise you that. All right, spawn up. You got one teammate with you. One uh, P2, it looks like, and one top mid, maybe. Top mid goes down. Uh, crazy, if you play with Crazy a lot, he needs to just be more aware of where you guys are on the map. Same thing you're doing. Uh, more uh, Multiple times now in this review, I've seen him pushed furthest out and dying. He either needs to stay with you guys better or wait a little bit more until you guys push up with him um, so that the push can be a little more clean. Trust me, I've been there. No disrespect to him. Um, it's just something I'm noticing. So if he wants to tweak one little thing with his gameplay, um, just pay a little bit more attention when you're pushing solo versus when you're pushing with your team. Um, one's flying out. Great gunfight. Unfortunately, there was one on P2. Um... Which kind of surprises me there. There's only so much you can do about that. Um, is Loyal fighting somebody off spawn? I don't think he is. He might be, actually. Yeah, you guys are getting collapsed on pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. You guys are definitely getting collapsed on. Yeah, there. Maybe just stay back in fridge. So, the way I'm taking in this situation, I believe... So, you see Crazy die, right? I think Loyal is fighting somebody top mid. So what I would do here is hold this pillar and stay in cover. Um, right when you see this dude uh, jump, I'm backing up. I'm backing up getting cover because Jiggy can likely break the angle going this way. So I would back up. Because, again, I assume Loyal was fighting. You know what? Let me put some sound on. Are the comms on? Hold on. You hear grenades going off, but I don't know if you necessarily knew Loyal was fighting. Um, I mean, if you don't know Loyal's fighting, this is just unfortunate because they are collapsing fast. But if you knew they were fighting, then yeah, I would back up and play that, um, that fridge pillar a little bit better. Because Loyal was surviving for a little bit. So, like, I would back up, get that kill, kind of rat around here, and then go back out and maybe fight um, P-side. But they were just collapsing on you, you know. They got the pick on crazy. They knew they had the advantage, and they just pushed the, pushed the pedal down. Which is how to play Aquarius. Textbook. Spawn up car 2. You see crazy. You see an enemy. Playing around each other. Fantastic teamwork, guys. Three people shot that guy. Yep, ping it up. Survive, survive, survive. They pushed in quick. Loyal should be able to come in and trade this out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, Loyal. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Loyal kills him. <laughs> what a turn of events. Or was that somebody else he killed? I don't even know. I think that was him. That's crazy. Anyways, back to the main point here. Here, when you ping this up, you just got to hold your ground and live up as long as possible until the help comes. Because you do have Loyal here. I'm sure Jiggy's trying to work his way over to you. You literally just have to hold this angle and live up as long as possible. Um, you kind of, again, flew out in the open. So, worst case scenario, 
you try to hold this angle, dance on this pillar, and try to sneak a melee on this guy flying in. That's really the best you can give it here. But see, flying out in the open, definitely not the answer. Definitely not. In a 4v2 on Aquarius, it's easy to get put in a blender slash split spawn. Have to stay alive and hold cover. Exactly. Exactly. Um, that's why earlier in the uh, gameplay, I mentioned backing up when you see two dead. Um, if you see the disadvantage, you have to back up and get with your spawners as quickly as possible. Anyways, you guys are up four here. Three now. I was hoping we get some capo comms. Crazy is named that for a reason. He definitely loves to push. I like it sometimes. Here, you're running out in the open off spawn. You did get a cheesy spawn here. What a weird spawn. Yeah, see, you cannot run out in the open here. You see Loyal fighting. Jiggy's collapsing. Forgive me, man. It's getting to my bedtime. Um, you see kind of a lot going on here. And I understand you want to, like, push the fight. But you know they have the top control. I think basically all of your teammates here are down below. So you have to assume they have the upper hand, the top control on the map. You do have Crazy up top. Crazy dies, though. So, yeah, you know they're up top. You can't just run through, run through the open like that. That's an instant death, which it does turn into. Now you're three dead. Crazy's only one up, and he is running. He doesn't even know where he's running to, but he is running. I like the trigger discipline. Fantastic trigger discipline. I like that. I would have shot that guy right away. Crazy's working towards you. Great job. Yep, get your shields. Crazy went down. Unfortunate. Yep. There's Loyal. You come back to help him. This is good. Yep, stay together. You guys are pushing, pushing, pushing. Get that triple. Let's go, baby. Oh, no. The disrespect. Nah, great job here. This is great teamwork right here. I love everything I'm seeing. Um, you guys are now up four again. Um, I'm no complaints here, really. So, I can kind of go off something not off spawn since we're not in the respawn screen. Three dead, right? Jiggy's right below you. Crazy Killer just died util, and you have one blue base. So, it's pretty safe to assume they're probably going to spawn yellow util, but you know they're spawning somewhere over here on this side of the map. You know that for a fact. So, you want to get the map control... Find the spawners, get a pick, collapse. That's pretty much just like bare bones Aquarius Slayer. So let's see how well you guys do that. Jiggy is just jumping around court. I'm not sure. I think the last one leaked through to blue base. Jiggy goes down. Loyal is now trapped in blue base. Loyal goes down. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yep, good job getting to the teammate that's up. All right, so you guys kind of just gave him two freebies here. So, again, my assumption was wrong because one did get through. So right here, you have Loyal and Blue Base. You have Jiggy pinging Blue Base. You have to help somehow. And I already said get the top control and the map control, right? You are in a perfect position for that. You need to look over here and see if there's any help you can give from a distance. And you're looking that way. And then you kind of just give up the angle. And although you almost get this guy, Jiggy goes down. Loyal goes down a second here. And now Loyal goes down. So they're all in yellow, right? So say you couldn't help them, right? I like, I like that you're getting back towards the spawners. Go grab that thrust. I'm perfectly fine with that. Make sure they're not pushing up fridge and P-side. They're turtling up. They want to win this game. They are definitely slowing it down. Good job trying to be aware. Yup, live up. Get those plasmas. Alright, you got one pushing you. This is a situation where you have to live up. You have to live up. 44-42. Yup, I like it. Get, get to the teammates. Get to the teammates. Oh, or just dance on him. Here, I'd push through. 
When you get this kill, I'm pushing right towards Loyal. I'm landing on that curb sliding right back towards Loyal. So if somebody does chase and try to clean me up, Loyal can hopefully put in some damage. Um, but good job overall. I like it. You kept the two kill lead. You do get traded out, but it is what it is. 46-45. Right now, in my mind and in the comms, I am saying, get together. Get together. Turtle up. Stay together. You're up one kill. Let the enemy make the mistake. Especially now that you guys are down um, on the map. Because they're going to be feeling confident. They're going to try to fly at you, right? So nobody can leak out solo here. That's fine. You can go out util. One goes down. You need to collapse on this guy. You need to collapse on this guy. Oh my god, Jiggy gets traded. Oh, Jiggy, you can't get traded there, brother. No, what happened? Did he play for the melee? Oh, Jiggy. Jiggy, Jiggy, Jiggy. You had help. Alright, 47-48 now. The hero play. Oh no, 49-49. God, I'm more into the game than I am analyzing it. All right, you get the dub. You should have won that by five. You should have won that by five, bro. So that final sequence here, again, you guys just have to stay together and shoot the same thing. So Loyal goes down in the base. You guys understand that. Collapse and trade it out. In a perfect world, Jiggy does not trade this out. All right, so you have two up right now. Crazy should be spawning any second. Oh my god, this is such a cheeky play. This is this is too much of a hero play for me. And you actually get traded. You almost make... You almost cause the loss here, low-key. Because you get picked off pretty easily. But luckily, you got the spawn there. This util spawn saved the game. Because now you guys can easily collapse on whoever just killed you, I'm pretty sure. And Loyal actually ends up getting the kill there. Where was Loyal there? I don't even think I can see him. Loyal was top base. So Loyal collapsed on him. Loyal pushed the dude that killed you. Or no, he's dead already. He just got another kill there. Loyal. He did clutch it up. The capital clutch. I like it. I like it a lot. Let me get that scoreboard up here. So 13-11, 6 assists. I like it. Um, Loyal... Very good job playing the map. He was always kind of... Him and Jiggy were always kind of those people that were there to, like, help you guys. Um, which that reflects in the assist. 10 assists from Loyal. 9 assists from Jiggy. You, 13-11. Again, you played your gunfights really, really well. But you gave up those high positions on the map. Which kind of shows with only your 6 assists. And Crazy Killer played too fast. He kind of flew out a lot. He was always solo. 9-14, 4. You can kind of see how I broke it down in your guys' roles that you saw through the game. The stat line very directly reflects that. But yeah, so you can see how the role breakdown kind of reflects into these stat lines. If Crazy Killer plays slower, he turns the stat line around like you guys. If you hold those high up positions, you have way more assists. And it kind of turns into more of a perfect game. This team played a very good game as well. This was a very close game. And I'm going to be honest... You picked a perfect game to VOD review. There's a lot to learn from this. Um, so my biggest, biggest two, if I could make you choose two things to focus, it's look for your teammates off spawn. Let them dictate where you are going and what you are doing, right? If they're all dead, you need to wait. If they're all alive, you need to get to them. Um, it's very simple, but very complicated at the same time. So try to look for them before you move in your next few games and let me know how it goes. And then your gunfights. Hug your cover. Always have an escape. Always have somewhere to hide. And always be able to cut the angles in the 2v1s. That was a great game to break down. I'm not going to lie to you. There was a lot of good takeaways there for Aquarius Slayer.